Welcome to another official release of B4 Artist 4.2.2. This release comes with the latest from Blender 4.2.1 and 4.3.0 Alpha. This release has skipped version 4.2.1 since we had a number of showstopper bugs that we have squashed and annihilated to give you the best of the best with this release. This release comes with a number of new features, including a new splash screen by Erasers 45 Studios, who competed with a number of other competitors and won first place with the splash screen competition from the Discord community. If you'd like to share your artwork and be a part of the community and also talk to the developers directly, join us on Discord. And this release also comes with an additional 151 and 38 fixes and features coming in ever since 4.1.1, now into the 4.2 series, along with 140 fixes that have come recently from Blender. This particular release focuses on asset shelves, extensions, user experience, and subdivision hotkey parity. The core new feature coming from us, thanks to Chungfam or Zenite Lord, for creating these new asset shelves for the node editors, including shader node groups, compositor node groups, and geometry nodes. We also have a new 3D view asset shelf, which includes materials, objects, collections, and worlds that you can drag and drop into the 3D viewport, even on full screen. And with that, from Blender, we have a new brush assets workflow included with all of the new painting modes, which has rewritten and recreated a new system where we can save, store, and override brush settings and save our brushes as assets. In the near future, we will probably release a new pack of brushes for you to make this more about the artist. With the 4.2 release of B for Artist, we now have new extensions and user experience improvements, which has replaced the add-ons workflow to allow us to access the Blender Foundation extensions platform and other extension platforms from other online repositories. With that, we have a new add-on which provides offline legacy built-in add-ons to help you migrate because now the core add-ons are no longer shipped with Blender. We also have migration assistance with better tool tips and instructions. We also have pre-downloaded extensions if you have a limited bandwidth, so you can activate them once you have opted into online access. We also can activate extensions and disactivate them from the main extensions tab. We can also uninstall them from a consistent top level just like you would with an add-on without needing to go into the drop-down. We also can activate the themes from a top level and disable them. We can also uninstall extensions from the add-ons page equally. We also added a familiar add-on interface to install from disk just like you would from before. And we added iconography to make the experience a lot more visual. With the Properties Editor, we've also worked on the user experience by exposing the auto-smooth improvements of pinning a modifier to last from a top level. And we can also apply modifiers to the selected as a default directly from the Modifier Add menu. Just to remember, if you hold down Alt on any slider or any operator, you can also apply to all that is selected. We also have new selection sets built in thanks to Blender. Another exciting aspect about the 4.2 B4 Artist series is that it, it is now available in the Windows App Store thanks to Iyad Ahmed. Another update is the Power User Tools add-on now has a new subdivision parity with hotkeys. So when you press Ctrl1 or Ctrl2 to subdivide your meshes, it will subdivide and also subdivide the render settings at the same time. And with this release, the 4.2 series is we have EV 2.0 or EV Next and Grease Pencil 3.0, which is currently a work in progress. This means that the EV legacy has been officially removed and replaced by the new EV. I highly recommend that you test the Grease Pencil 3.0 and test EV 2.0 to help Blender development and also help us to replace and improve our legacy Grease Pencil user experience for the new and more performant and more flexible Grease Pencil, now compatible with Geometry Nodes. So what's new from Blender? Multi-pass compositing in the real-time composite directly from your viewport for incredible results. Linked video strips in your video sequencer editor so you can connect strips together while you edit. New bake channel 
operators from directly inside of your dope shape. Icons now draw as vectors for higher resolution DPIs. You can now copy drivers to selected. And Mesh to Planes is now called Mesh Planes and it is now integrated into the software to import an image as a plane. You can now frame your F curves directly inside of your graph editor if it is open. With this release, we also have a number of new geometry nodes, including gizmos for editing and changing your system. Inside of the tool mode, we have the new mouse position input for activating your geometry nodes tools. We also have new matrix nodes, which gives us more power to move things around within a matrice instead of using Euler or normal transform. We also have new rotation nodes with access to angle rotation and a number of others, including a constant rotation input to compensate and to work with the new matrix nodes. And with that, we also have general maintenance with floating checkboxes left, adding property labels, adding property indents, merges and dev builds every week, working consistency in panels, operators in the tool shelf, and adding iconography and documentation to new operators. So download B for Artists 4 today. It is 100% free. You can download this from www.b4artists.de slash download. And I would like to say thank you for your artwork in the community and your support to make this project come alive. So I want to say thanks also as Andrea Stevens, who sponsors Blenix Juicer, who has been working diligently with us to help grow the community. So I support him through PayPal, which you can do too. And with that, we can grow the community. So let's be for artists, support your favorite developer today, and all credits goes to the Blender Foundation, Teleporte, Quackers, myself, Sean Robertson, Rainer, Iyad Ahmed, Blenix, and Zenite, and all of you too. So enjoy B for Artists 4.2.2 today, and till next time.